said Jesus the world is full of sin are you listening to me now so instead of trying to look around did I do anything wrong in the last one week that would be stupid the world is full of sin we do not walk through it without taking some of them stains as errors we think wrong we talk wrong we act wrong a lot of times and I've done so many wrong things, blessed Jesus. But you have taken responsibility for my sins. And if there's, if there's one, or you've got two, or there's three of them troubling you, and you say, Lord Jesus, you mention what it is. These things give me some concern. And I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I shouldn't have done them. Forgive me. Thank you for giving me forgiveness. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood that was shed for us. For the remission of sins. And the forgiveness of sins. Oh blessed Jesus. Thank you for purifying my soul today. Your word purifies. The Holy Ghost purifies. What are you doing now? dealing with sin you're now dealing with sin are you following me you deal with sin all right you deal with it in your life deal with it you deal with it because the world is full of unrighteousness the very air around us full of no, uh, 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 negative thoughts wrong thoughts fear doubt and from time to time we pick some of them up ourselves. Sometimes we react in anger unnecessarily. And the Bible says the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. And so you deal with sin. That's, and how do you deal with sin? Deal with sin from a position of strength. The strength of God. From a position of faith. Faith in the blood of the Lamb. Deal with sin from the position of faith. I believe in Jesus. Who was wounded for my transgressions. Bruised for my iniquities. Lord Jesus, thank you. You were delivered from my offenses and raised for my justification. Justification, you know what that means? That means declared not guilty. Discharged and acquitted. Lord, thank you. Oh, you remember in Acts 13, 38, through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. By him all that believe are justified from all things from which they could not be justified by the law of Moses. By the law of Moses, I should be stoned to death. By the law of Moses, I should be ostracized. By the law of Moses, I should be condemned. But thank you, Lord Jesus. Through Jesus is preached unto me the remission of sins. The forgiveness of sins. By him all that believe are justified from all sakes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Being therefore justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time you get to this dealing with sin number, are you following me? Dealing with sin, ooh. What happens is, you, the weakness, of man is revealed come on come on come on are you with me now you see the weakness of man is, is revealed see your weakness immediately you have actually accepted that in your strength is by strength shall no man prevail suddenly you realize it is by faith not by works you see that not by the works of righteousness which we have done not by our own perfection not because I was so good but dear Lord Jesus, my eyes are upon you. Thank you for washing my sins away. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for purifying my heart. Thank you for saving my soul. And when you say that, the presence of God, the strength of God takes over. You would, you would know it on the inside. 
Because suddenly you're not resting on your strength. You're resting on his strength. You would know it. Suddenly you become conscious of it. That you are standing by the righteousness of God. And the moment that clicks. The moment that clicks. Your spirit gains the mastery. Because now you've made the connection. You release yourself to begin to speak in other tongues. See, when you go, thank you, Lord, for the righteousness of God that I have become. So, you see, it, it, it's, it comes up spontaneously now. The spirit is released. You feel that you, you, you can literally sense the spirit gaining the ascendancy. You begin to speak in those tongues of the spirit. So powerful. 